perfect fit. The fourth T20 international of Sri Lanka's tour of Australia will be played at the Melbourne Cricket Ground on Friday, the 18th of February. Sri Lanka's troubles outside the boundary have worsened as the tour has gone on, with first Kusal Mendis, then Biruta Fernando and Vanitu Hasaranga testing positive for COVID. Nuan Tushara also seemed to pick up a side strain in the third T20, leaving the bowling stocks a little thin going into that fourth game. As it has been all series, Sri Lanka's batting will be under the microscope again, particularly that top order. Though Patum Nisanka has managed to get runs, none of the others around him in that top four have managed anything of significance. Charit Asalanka caught the attention of cricket fans all over the world during the T20 World Cup last year, but has failed to live up to expectations in this series so far, while Kusal Mendis and Danushka Gunathilaka have been underwhelming in their return to the T20 side. For Australia, Aaron Finch's form continues to be somewhat of a concern. The Aussie skipper will be relieved that he won't have to face Hasaranga, however, given the leg spinner has dismissed him thrice in their last three encounters. It will be interesting to see if Sri Lanka will bring Janit Lian again into the side, switching Gunatilaka out for Mendis at the top of the order. Kamil Mishara is another option waiting the wings as an opening batter. On the bowling front, we might see at least one change, with Lahiru Kumara or Shiran Fernando coming in for Tushara. Having already secured the series 3-0, the hosts have plenty of space to experiment. They will most likely look to rotate some of the bowlers in the lineup, with Josh Hazelwood, who has been their standout in this series, likely to be rested for this game. With Hasaranga out and Tushara and Fernando unlikely to feature in the fourth game, onus will be on speedster Dushmanta Chamira to carry the bowling attack. The right arm quick has bowled well throughout the series, particularly in the latter half of the innings, varying his pace and length to great effect. For the hosts, they will be keen to get something big out of Glenn Maxwell, who has had a relatively calm series thus far. The batter has been destructive against Sri Lanka in the past and will be looking forward to facing a depleted bowling attack. The Melbourne Cricket Ground is no doubt one of Sri Lanka's favourite venues away from home, simply because of the support they get there. In terms of the pitch, it has not produced too many high-scoring encounters in international T20s and does usually assist the spinners a bit, something Sri Lanka will be looking forward to. Weather forecasts suggest it will be cloudy, but we can expect a full 40-over game as Sri Lanka look to restore some pride to end their tour. Stay on the ball with the Papua Sports News Alerts. Don't miss out on everything that happens in the world of sport. Type the Papare and Centro 678 to register. 30 rupees per month. Conditions apply.